We've just joined us. Our guest on this episode of Question Time is the Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirika. And we're looking at the crisis rocking the aviation sector in Nigeria and the federal government's intervention to reposition Nigeria's aviation sector according to world-class standards. Now, uh, there is one issue that we need to talk about, and that's the issue of aviation fuel. We understand that even some airline operators go as far as Ghana uh, to obtain this aviation fuel. So what's the ministry doing to make this accessible to the operators? Well, the Ministry of Transportation is saying that, first and foremost, you need to understand that um, aviation fuel, as it is, is deregulated in Nigeria, fully, fully deregulated. In Ghana, it is regulated. Um, the story is that Ghana uh, would bring down the, the cost by as much as uh, uh, 25 uh, um, um, uh, percent of what it is here in, in Nigeria to attract people to go and take fuel from, from Ghana, for example. Um, here is fully deregulated. De uh, entrepreneurs bring in this uh, aviation fuel and sell it at the price that they want to um, uh, sell. Um, and I think it's economic decisions by airlines. Uh, what worries me more than the pricing is the avail availability of the product in Nigeria. And we've gone to, I've gone since I became minister, I went to Minister of Petroleum Resources, and that, okay, the fact that it's deregulated, how can we begin to produce the Jet A1? It's not magic, it's not rocket science. We've been doing it before in Port Harcourt and Kaduna. And they assured us that they would commence processes to see that before the end of the year, uh, Port Harcourt may come on stream to begin to produce Jet A1. Now, let me take you to the issue of air safety. Even though we understand that the aviation ministry got a clean bill of health from the International Civil Aviation Organization, the ICAO, and um, they obtained a Category 1 uh, pass mark. But um, at this point of recession, where cost of maintenance is a huge uh, cost, uh, how can we guarantee uh, aviation safety? Because we also understand that uh, many of these, uh, the airline operators go abroad for the C and D checks. Everybody that would have been trained in aviation knows that safety, for me, that's why I differ from people who had been in this position before that are non-aviators. Um, because the focus is different. Quite a number of uh, passengers, what worries them is for them to land and see a huge, humongous edifice as an airport. With all of the squeaky clean uh, environment and flowers and so on and so forth. Uh, for me, that is also equally important. The air conditioners should be working is equally important. The conveyor belt is also important. But what is more important for me is to be ensure that you depart from point A to point B within the sp airspace of Nigeria, 923,000 square kilometers, to ensure that I am able to leave Potoskum Airport and land in Akure in a very safe, secure manner. What's your ministry's position on state governments embarking on their own airports? It depends on what your priority is. It depends on what your priority is. If, as a state governor, you feel that to establish an airport within the headquarters of your state or anywhere in your state will pay you economically better, is an entirely economic decision that the chief executive of that state would take. Before we wind down on this uh, conversation now, um, you have made an intense advocacy on concessioning and um, the last administration talked boldly about remodeling. Um, many are thinking that, um, isn't this another cliche? Uh, could you put a timeline on this initiative? In the first place, uh, I was la laughing at that choice of word, remodeling, because the airports weren't models before anyway, for them to be remodeled, you know? I mean, that's why I see it, um, um, whatever the concept was at the time. But I am very sure that the way to go is to concession them. As regarding timelines, uh, I told you that uh, we've uh, received an expression of interest. We're in the process of appointing the transaction advisor. This we will fast track. We will plead with government to pardon us on some of the steps uh, within the law to be able to fast track it. I have seen concession done within 24 months, an airport with all the structures, the runways, the taxiways, the linkways, the apron, the airport uh, terminal itself, and so on, done within 24 months. I would want to believe that 
if we begin or if we continue from where we are now, within the next uh, uh, three years, we will have these uh, airports in place with all the runways and everything together. Honorable Minister for Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, thank you for making our time for, to be part of this episode of Question Time and also for shedding light and telling us about the federal government's determination to reposition Nigeria's aviation sector. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Venga. Thank you very much indeed. And that's it on this episode of Question Time. You may also send us a comment on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashuru saying goodbye.